Honda just released the 2025 Honda Pilot. The large three-row family crossover just got redesigned the last year or so, the 2024 model year for the fourth generation. But 2025 is already out, and we're going to talk about the big differences, the price increases, the addition of the new black edition, and any other updates they made to the best-selling three-row crossover in the, well, the only three-row crossover in the Honda lineup. So let's get into it. All right, so getting on the pricing down below is the 2024 model year. And now for the 2025 model year, check this out. LX has been completely axed from the lineup and therefore your starting price is much higher than ever was before. The LX, you could get in a front wheel drive model after destination for 38.5 roughly. Now your entry level price is about, I don't know, almost three grand more on the sport model. However, if you compare sport model to sport model, it only went up $300 in price. Let's look at the EXL. Well, it looks like they canceled the option on the EXL to have captain's chairs. That is now not available on the EXL. I'm assuming it's standard on the Touring Trail Sport Elite and Black Edition. It looks like the EXL's price has gone up about $800 uh, on the two-wheel drive model and $800 as well on the all-wheel drive model. Let's look at the Touring. How much has the Touring increased in price? Only $300 seemingly. Trail Sport only has gone up 200 bucks. So that is the cheapest uh, or the lowest amount of increase in price year over year seemingly for the Trail Sport. The Elite model topped up is topping off at $300 more than last year. And it's interesting that Honda killed off the base trim, especially when interest rates are super high and people need to have more affordable cars. They killed off the base trim and added what we already thought was the, the, the top trim. They added a trim on top of that, that black edition. Is it worth the money? Well, let's read into it. Reading from the press release, the new Black Edition takes the midsize three-row SUV style to new heights with more aggressive look that includes gloss black 20-inch alloy wheels, a gloss black grill bar, which is this thing right here. You have gloss black upper side mirror housings, blackout treatment for the front fascia ducts, which is going to be right here. Uh, window trim is blacked out as well. Door garnishes down here are, have been blacked out, it looks like, too. On the back, we have a blacked out rear bumper garnish plus black edition badges on the grill and the tailgate uh, right there. IVTM4 or Super Handling All-Wheel Drive, if you're Acura, that all-wheel drive system is standard here. And now on the inside of the black edition, uh, we have red accented perforated leather seats and red contrast st uh, stitching on them. So you see right there. Man, this is, a, this is a pretty high resolution image. Nice job, Honda. Nice job. Black edition on the headrest um, with the red stitching. Um, they also say there's, there's red stitching on the steering wheel, which we cannot see with the provided image. This is only the only image they give us. We have red stitching here on the dash, the armrest, also red accent ambient lighting on the doors and the center console. Well, we see it kind of here on the center console. Black additional logo is embossed on the front seats, uh, like I mentioned, but also on the floor mats, which we cannot see. So that's it. I mean, obviously it has all the options that the Elite does just with kind of a little bit more blacked out flare. Let me know down below if you think it's worth it. Now, in terms of equipment, it looks like it still has the small screen in here. We don't have the 12 inch screen that we see in the Accord. And I was hoping for the 2025 model year, that would be something that they updated. Luckily, the perfect climate control knobs are still here. All right, there are also some special option packages I'm gonna get into right now. Uh, the Pilot can be customized with several post-production option packages, including the HPD package. That adds the Pilot's rugged appearance with aggressive black or bronze colored HPD wheels, HPD center caps, lower door trim, and special HPD graphics. That is starting at $2,000 for the Trail Sport. You can get the HPD package also available on all the other Pilot trims even the base sport model. And it's just one of several post-production option packages specially tailored for the 2025 pilot. pilot. What does post-production option packages mean? They're dealer installed. And that's about it. You know, Honda says that every fourth gen pilot is built in America at the Honda Alabama plant um, in Lincoln, Alabama. And since 2006, Honda's produced more than 2 million pilots in the United States. Going over to car figures, 
Um, they're, the pilot sales are recovering. You know, 2022 was a rough year for them. It was like a 10-year low, essentially a 10-year low. The last time they sold less than 100,000 units was in 2009. Okay, so the pilot did not have a good year in 2022. Most Honda vehicles did not. The supply chain crushed them. But here in 2025, they sh are looking to pass 110,000 units, hopefully get up to 120,000 units plus. That's where they're used to seeing the Pilot sell. There is still no hybrid for the Pilot, uh, unfortunately, right? We got the new updated V6 here, double overhead cam V6 with around 285 horsepower, 10 speed auto. It's a really smooth and powerful powertrain. But in today's high gas price environment, would you guys would like would you like to see a hybrid version of the pilot? I'm kind of confused why there is no large platform hybrid in Honda's lineup. The Accord, the CRV, and the Civic all have the two liter hybrid. Obviously, that is far too underpowered for their large platform vehicles. So, where's their V6 hybrids? Okay, I don't know. I don't know. I will see you guys down below. I mean, the Pilot's fantastic. It rides great. It looks pretty cool. You got this new black edition, but I'm a little sad that the base trim LX is no longer the base trim. It's been wiped off the face of the earth for 2025. And Honda sometimes will add those base trims back when they seem that the market needs it. Okay, so maybe in the second half of 2024 here for the 2025 model year, they could add the LX back in. They've done that with the CRV and I think the Civic before. Um, so stay tuned. I won't be surprised if they do that, but I'll see you guys in the comments below. Um, stay tuned for more Honda news and reviews, uh, at least from the Acura perspective. I'll be driving the ZDX this spring. So make sure you subscribe for that. Uh, and hopefully I'll be driving the new Civic Hybrid this summer when it is uh, released to the public to buy around summertime. So I can't wait to drive that new Civic Hybrid. I'm super excited for it. But anyways, got to shut it down. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.